If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. After creating a report in Access, it appears in the navigation pane. To open the report in Report Design View in Access, select it in the navigation pane and then press Ctrl plus Enter on your keyboard. Alternatively, right-click the report to open in the navigation pane, and then select the Design View command from the pop-up menu that appears. In Report Design View in Access, you can edit the report to change the field placement, add or remove fields, or format the report objects. In Report Design View in Access, you can change many of the same report elements you changed in Forms when using Form Design View in Access. To create a report from scratch in Report Design View in Access, click the Report Design button that appears in the Reports button group on the Create tab of the ribbon. Doing this creates a new blank report and displays it in Report Design View. One of the first things to notice about Report Design View in Access that is different than Form Design View is the number of report sections. By default, the Report Design View shows a page header section a detail section, and a page footer section. It is important to note that in a report, the section into which you place data field controls can impact what data appears in the field, which we will examine momentarily. To set the report's data source in access if needed, you must set the data source property of the report in the property sheet pane. If needed, to show the property sheet, Click the Property Sheet button in the Tools button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Then use the drop-down at the top of the Property Sheet pane that appears at the right side of the application window to select Report if needed. Then click the Data tab below the drop-down. Click into the Record Source Property field on the Data tab and then use the drop-down that appears at the right end of the field to select the name of the query or table to use as the data source for the report. After selecting the report's data source in Access, then click the Add Existing Fields button in the Tools button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to show the fields in the selected data source in the Field List pane. Then drag and drop the fields from the field list into the desired section of the report. Fields placed into the Details section display their field information once for each record in the associated data source. Fields placed into the Page Header or Page Footer areas repeat once per page. Those sections are suitable for report labels and date time stamps, but not data fields or calculated fields. You can also add two more useful sections to the report, the Report Header and Report Footer. If desired, to enable the Report Header and Report Footer, right-click the header of any displayed section in the Report Design view, and then select the Report Header Footer command in the pop-up menu that appears. Fields placed into either the Report Header or the Report Footer sections show their field data once at the very top of the report and once at the very bottom of the report. Oftentimes, you will find report titles in the Report Header section. The Report Footer section is often where you will add fields that calculate the grand total of data fields within the Details section. You can also add many other headers and footers for the various field groupings you may create in your report, which you will learn how to do in a later lesson. You also have many of the same controls available in Report Design View that you used in Form Design View. The controls for reports in Report Design View and Access appear in the scrollable list of controls in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. You can use the buttons in this scrollable list to add labels, images, or custom calculated fields.
After designing a report in Report Design View in Access, you can view the report results in Print Preview to see how it would look if printed. To view a report in Access in Print Preview, click the View drop-down button in the Views button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. Then choose the Print Preview command. When viewing a report in Print Preview, you can view multiple or single pages of the report and also print the report by using the buttons on the Print Preview tab in the ribbon. To close the Print Preview and return to Report Design View, when you are finished previewing the report, click the Close Print Preview button in the Close Preview button group on the Print Preview contextual tab of the ribbon. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.